So what we're looking at here is a data set that has prices for purchases. Uh, this is a very popular data set you can find online on uh, Kings County in Seattle. Um, and so this column right here is our price. And then there are a bunch of other variables that also describe uh, the, the house or the home or the property that's being sold on a particular date with a particular ID. And I'm very interested in what the relationship looks like between the square feet of the home and the price of the home. And so I'm going to do a scatter plot. There's a couple of different ways to do this, but the, what I'm going to suggest is that the easiest way to do this is to put your X and your Y column variables in the, in the, in the right place. So for this practical purposes, I want well, price to be my Y variable and I want square foot living to be my X variable. This is going to make it a real easy down the road if you're going to do linear regressions uh, where the Y is on the left and the X is down here in the bottom and here is your price and here is your square foot and then all of your dots are going to look something like this and then your relationship should be positive at least that's what we're expecting um, we'll see what happens here in a minute so for all practical purposes I want price to be my Y and I want square foot living to be my X and Excel when it constructs a scatter plot um, will be very specific about how we do this so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create uh, an empty column and I'm going to take square foot living and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to paste it on the left hand side of price X on the left Y on the right X on the left Y on the right okay and then if you highlight both of these control shift down X on the left Y on the right and you insert you'll see these little dots where you you go to insert and you look at all your different charts you see all these tiny little dots that's your scatter plot insert scatter plot it even tells you here X and Y X and Y right the other thing you can do if you want to cheat is hit your recommended charts and then you see which one kind of looks like you want this is the one I kind of want so you could click on that one prices on the left but traditionally you would hit your scatter and I you know this is a, there's there's some weirdness here on your scatters uh, I wouldn't do any of those the bubble graphs are here it's gonna collect data for you not really interested in that I want a simple scatter plot and there it is You'll notice that price is on the left hand side. All my dollar signs are over here. And this is my square feet over here. You can try to make that a prettier graph if you want to. If you want to turn around later and do some sort of uh, regression line or line of best fit, it might look something like this. This is a positive relationship. So what we know from a scatter plot is that every single one of these observations, every single one of these dots is one particular house house sub i don't know eight right and this is house you know 457 the 457th observation or whatever it is okay every single dot represents one observation and the most important thing about building this out is that this y variable which is price which is my y so to speak needs to be on the right hand side when you put the two variables together let's go up and take a look at that again when you cut these out these are the only two that i'm interested in y has to be on the right and whatever x variable you're doing it has to be on the left the other thing i like to do when we do these guys is i will highlight the two that i'm interested in the other one i'm interested in these two control c and I'll just start a new page and I'll put this over here and then I, there's there's very little confusion about which variable is which and I use only this one and we can turn around and say shift control down um, actually I'm just gonna do it this way hit the scatter and there it is All right now I have it at the very top you can go into you can go into options here and you know play with all your stuff to make it better but for the most part what's really important is that the Y again
has to be on the right hand side when you are making a scatter plot.